Hello YouTube, this is my queen's eye back with another video, back with another message. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for all of the support, all the likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Everything is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, so it's something, uh, we got justice right here at the bottom of the deck. It's something about... Um, Um, those uh, speaking out against like betrayals here that they may have been a part of, that they were set up or forced to be a part of is something about uh, them speaking out um, and their karma not being uh, as bad. Because the individuals that are speaking out, they are for justice. They are for peace. They are for good. Now, you know, everybody got choices. But like I said, if they're speaking like against whatever part that they play, it's still going to be karma head. But um, it's just not going to be as bad. You, know, you take it how it resonates. Three of Pentacles with the Empress here. I just heard Buku, Devil with the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> and this is going to be like your, your chance to show people that you aren't evil or you you can you do keep your word. Even if it is individuals that already know that you keep your word. Um, there are going to be individuals that you still may or may not know that is going to be looking um, to that here. So take it how it resonates. Let me get a um, seven of swords with the pinnacle, the page of pinnacles here. For some of you, this is what people are going to be speaking about. Um, whatever they were offered to get to keep something going or to turn the turn the other cheek here with the two of wands, eight of swords. <clears throat> it could have always like been on their mind, but you think how it resonates. <clears throat> Let me get a prayer in. Most high loving ancestors of my highest good, my highest light, my highest frequency. Please help me to channel these messages clear and concise with truth and clarity. Please block any and all negative interference during this message. Please return to center tenfold. Thank you. We got the sun with the tower here. Yeah, the four of swords. Like whatever this is, it's about to be laid to rest here. Now you take it how it resonates. We got the nine of swords that was peeking through with the hierophant here. Three of pentacles <clears throat> with the chariot. I said it yesterday. You stick close to the most high. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong here. Um, somebody could have, um, a sudden like change in their health. Now for some of you, this is going to be good. Um, and for others is somebody's health is going to decline here. What else? Or whatever is is being illuminated here with the sun, or whatever people are being enlightened to, it's causing like it's causing them to heal. Divine intervention here with the tower and the four of swords. You just have to take it how it resonates. We got the hangman at the bottom of the deck here with the strength. I said it a minute ago. Like if you hold on to something 
at you should have let go of, it's going to hurt you more holding on than it would for you to let go. Because like I said, with the eight of swords, it could be people like in their head, like, damn, should I do this? Or why didn't I already do this? Like, let go. Because the more you hold on to it, it's going to hurt you. It's something about healing hands. <clears throat> oh, energy. See, the more people that do right here and make healthier choices with the lovers here, the, the stronger you become. See, in this that ten of wands, that's getting weak. That's like at a at a at a breaking point, right? Because you holding on to something for longer than what it needs to be held on to. It's only going to hurt you in the end. And the more people that you get to change like their perspectives or um, even their outlook, which would be the, pers the perspective, it gives them a chance to heal. And that's like brave, like healing is the bag. I mean, by, you know, I ain't going to say by all means, do your work, do what you have to do to, to get your money. But if you're in a state of healing, you're not going to have time for doing the extra shit. That, that's you being brave. That's you being courageous. That's you making the right choice here or a healthy conscience, conscious uh, decision here to heal or to let go. Take it how it resonates. Got the Empress. Page of Cups with the world here. Ten of Swords. There could have been something um, that happened as a child. Or to a child, just take it how it resonates. And before whatever that nine of swords is that I showed y'all, whatever happened, that was like, like a turn for the worse with that ten of swords I just saw. Take it how it resonates. And for some of you, you are uh, attracting like a true love by healing here. The nine of swords with the moon. So whatever this is that could have been hidden, for some of you, you could have been hiding it, that you were hurt regarding something here. But you had to let it go because you understood like, Holding on to it was only going to hurt you. And that wasn't going to bring like your manifestations. It was only going to bring more hurt. So like you really had to put this work in right here. You really had to do it. I just saw the temperance and I thought of it um, before I saw it. You'll see that temperance. Anything else here? Thank you. We got the Ten of Wands. That's that breaking point.
for some of you, if if you're trying to get um like people on this healing journey here, and maybe you know you were the one that stepped out on faith with the full energy, or you had like the courage or the heart to do what other people weren't doing. If people weren't following you, they could be following you now, but it may be because of another individual. So like people saying like, yeah, you know, I was in this three of swords, nine of swords energy, but, um, you know, I started like focusing more on what was going on, what I went through. Like people are vouching. Some of you with that healing hands, you could be a healer with the uh with that temperance, but it's it's like if you couldn't do it on your own, for some of you, you couldn't. You just had to do it for yourself first. And then like whoever the, the people are that's following you, it could be because of another individual. Whether they on a healing journey or not, you just got to take it how it resonates. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups here. Star Energy, you're a healer. There you go. <clears throat> I just saw the star, but here's the death card. You're bringing this change here. Justice, Five of Cups. And the Swords with the Page of Pentacles. Wands. Anything else here? Nine of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Um, for somebody, yeah, Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles. It could be somebody who is having to face, um, or make a choice here, like a head over heart. So I did this reading a minute ago. Somebody is going to have to make a head over heart um, decision here. If it's for someone that's like, whose health has declined, they may have to uh, sign some type of paperwork. So this is giving me the do not resuscitate. Like once this person has, um, reached the end, leave it, let it go. Yes. It's going to hurt. Yes. You may have some anxiety or fear behind it, or you may be worried or something like that, but you have to let it go. Because somebody will be like, you know, you know, when you going through something and people like, oh, you know, you need to get over that. How the fuck are you going to tell somebody how long they should grieve over something? That's the problem. People is like, you know, oh, that happens overnight. No, it doesn't. It's a daily thing, yo. Daily. Because whoever is saying, like, you need to get over this, you need to get over that, they haven't even started the healing journey, but want to try to tell you what you shouldn't be worried about or ain't nothing wrong or tell them to go fucking heal. For some of you, that could be this person here. Take out it resume. Magician, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, Head of Swords. Six of Swords. 
Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So the other day, I picked up somebody cleaning, and they're going to find something. Um, It may hurt. With this Three of Swords here, it's going to hurt somebody. They could have found it already. You just take it how it resonates. It may be a picture, that page of pentacles. It may be um, some type of financial document. It may be like um, a will or something like that. I don't know why I just picked up somebody like rehearsing lines for a funeral. Please take that how it resonates. I was not trying to even get on that, but you know, when I pick up on it, I have to speak on it unless I'm told not to. So just take it how it resonates. For some of you, it's going to be a picture of you when you were a child and who you're going to be in the picture with. Just take it how it resonates. It could even be um, like a policy. Take it how it resonates. <clears throat> Got intentionality right here. That's not the deck I was getting ready to use, though. Just four of wands here. Whatever this is, yeah, I knew I saw the star. So whatever judgment, whatever somebody is getting ready to find, it could be like a deed to a home here. Like I said, this may be like a part of a will here. Four of Wands here. Knight of Swords, Bull of Fortune, Star with the Judgment. And whatever this is that's about to be found um, is going to change everything for you going to change everything. It's going to make you um, understand that you had to go through what you went through for a reason. And it's also going to make you see like why the Most High made you wait so long to get it. Because if you were like um, like born into a family where you were stable uh financially home wise the, the 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 parents by the work wise or however and nine of swords with a tower whatever the tower is that happened whatever you went through after that it just helped you gain like a different outlook like okay I have to work for this if this is what I want. Like it gave you a different outlook on life. It gave you a different outlook on people. This is why, you know, when you go through shit as a child and you become an adult, you have to heal. You have to heal. And whatever this is, it, you're going to be like, damn, it was worth it. Like, no, you didn't like it. Yeah, that shit hurt. Yeah, you had to heal from it. But you gained enlightenment. You got more uh, more uh, brave. You got more heart. You didn't let your fears, like, hold you back. I just picked up on that yesterday. Like, if you, if you were, like, now I don't want to say put on front street, but if, like, 
If somebody was like, yeah, I know this person can't do this, but that is front street. Okay. So it's like, if you were put on front street and you were scared, it's like, you still did whatever somebody thought you couldn't do. And it's going to help you, um, understand like why you went through what you went through here. The sun with the temperance that I just saw and the queen of swords. King of cups. This is giving me too that reading that I did where I said you're changing the hearts of men and kin. Because like I said, even when you started your journey and people you know, laughed at you and you could have been in the nine of swords like, damn, am I making the right choice here? <laughs> but you still kept going. That's the whole purpose too. You didn't stop. You didn't let like what people thought. You didn't let like whatever shit somebody was trying to stir up. Like you did not let it stop you. You just kept going understanding that you have good days and you have bad days, but the bad days are the days that you have to push a little harder. You have to push a little harder in those hard days. But understand that it'll be worth it in the end. Four of swords with the eight of wands. I'm not going to use all of those. Empress. You're about to bird something. We, the full energy. With the will of fortune here. Hmm. Two of cups. With the tower. Five of swords with this death here. Ace of cups. I just heard fighting to the death. But this is changing the hearts of men and kin here. <laughs> this is changing the hearts of men and kin. Ace of Cups, death with the Five of Swords. And understanding like you can get further like as a team or working with somebody, but you working with somebody like they have to be right. That's why I said earlier, I had to like switch my words up because somebody be like, oh yeah, well I heard that emperor say that, you know, by any means I need to go out here and I need to know by any means you need to heal, get your shit together. But if you have a job, you can still go to work. That's why I said before, it's something about mental health that's going to be taking places at jobs here. Because people that are in like higher positions, they do not understand like mental health. They can talk that shit all day. But they don't even take care of their own mental health. So how are they going to care about your mental health? That's going to be significant in jobs here. Like it really may come to a point where like healing is mandatory. It really may get to that because people are still going to try to be out here in this five of swords with this death energy trying to get favor. No, <laughs> no. You do the right thing. You heal. You help others for the greater good. Heavy on the award, somebody receiving a humanitarian award here with the star.
because you are here to bring love, peace, balance, and harmony. And you can only do that when people are healed or healing. Because like I said, it's a daily thing. I say it all the time. This is not something you do once a week or twice a week or something like that. This is every single day. But even on your hard days, like I said, those are the days that you got to put a little bit more effort into it. Even if that's just you resting. Because people don't understand too, resting is healing as well. Somebody's about to get caught up for, um, this is totally off, but somebody's about to get caught up for um, taking workers overtime money. And see, this is what I'm talking about. It takes a toll on people because if they out here working, doing overtime because they may need the money for something in their house or a child or they need to go travel somewhere or they need to, to pay something off. These motherfuckers in these positions, they don't care. They about to stop that shit, too. For some of you, these people just about to be removed from their positions. But you take it how it resonates. That shit is going to stop because that takes a toll on people. Because I'm going to tell you something. The boss or the manager or whoever is like asking you to do the overtime. They don't forget that they asked you to do the overtime, but they forget to pay you. Fuck out of here. Justice. This ace of swords here with the chariot. For some of you, this is you about to get a payout for the for. Uh, funds taken here. You, know, you take a high resonate. It could be from a job. It could be from someone. Just take it how it resonate. You. Is there anything else here? It may not be long. Damn, that was a lot. We got the Eight of Wands here. The Three of Cups. The Sun. The Temperance. The Seven of Cups here. If there were any illusions around like angels, like really living like on this earth, it's not about to be anymore. <laughs> not about to be any more here. For some of you, it's several angels. Heavy on the Charlie's angels. Okay, Bernie. <laughs> Heavy on the Charlie's angels here. This seven of cups right here. <clears throat> High priestess came out yesterday, but that's a whole like lot of cards. The seven of cups with the high priestess I just saw and the temperance right next to the seven of cups. This is just giving me like anybody that was um, like unsure or um, not really believing. They're really about to be made believers here. As above, so below. Six of wands. Six of cups here. You did not let your past get the best of you. I said it yesterday. Like you took what whatever you did or whatever you learned from your past, and you just made it like help you to become successful for you to move forward. That's all you did. You didn't say, um, you know, that's like people coming out of prison, right? And they trying to get jobs. It's like they they can't take like 
that mentality like, damn, I just got out of prison. I ain't going to find this. I ain't going to find that. Let me go over here and be in this five of swords, ten of swords, death energy. Like you can't keep that mindset because that means that you're succumbing to everything that you've put time in for or that you've healed from or that you let go. So that means you're going to go back to it and let it take over you again. No, you have to take your past and help it uh, take it and make it help build you a better future. here. And that's what you're teaching people because you've been there and you've done that already. Because some of you heavy on the counseling. We got judgment right here. Heavy on the counseling. This is what I'm saying. Like, this is this like mental health awareness. Like people say they aware of it, but what are you actually doing about it? Oh, let's just say it because it's going to make it sound good. But what are you actually like doing with it though? Like, are you helping people become better? Heavy on the natural healing here. Because I said it before, it's like these people, they have these degrees. They have, you know, all of this stuff that's saying that they can do this and they're a doctor. But it's like, damn, why are you like <sighs> moving people out of the way? Why aren't you healing them? Now, granted, you know, some things is just going to happen. But if it's if it's people that's not going out in a natural way, there's a problem with that. There's a problem. Because if if it's a doctor out here that's not right mentally, why the fuck do I want them like working on me? They could drop whatever they, whatever, uh, whatever they fucking using on surgery or something. And just be like, you know what? I don't feel like fucking being here today. Like, cause that's how that mental health shit gets you sometimes. So why do I want somebody that has a, a, a that's a doctor that is not right mentally? How the fuck you going to help me and you ain't right mentally? I'll sway. How? Like, that shit is crazy. This is going to definitely be people um, speaking about this. We got the star again here. Or people are just going to be listening to you. Take it how it resonates with this six of wands. Y'all see them? Them hands, they look like hands. They look like people right there. Listening to whoever this man or this woman is on this card. Is there anything else here? 3339 was just on the screen. Four of Wands again. So this is like something coming back around for you. Seven of Wands with the devil. He's not able to like get to you anymore. Or somebody still needs to block like their energy. But this is an everyday thing too. You ignoring the fuck out of the devil. Are you protecting your energy or you envisioning a cocoon of healing light around you? Visualize it. That helps as well. Sudden wolf at the bottom of the day.
somebody needs to do some research on um, narcissism, narcissism, or like the multiple uh, disorders or something like that. Think how it resonates. It's about to be a celebration. Three of Cups, Four of Wands. Is there anything else? If somebody is worried about um, holding on to things for sentimental reasons, you can do that. It's nothing wrong with that. If it'll keep like a good memory, do that. If it doesn't, mm, the choice is yours. If you feel like holding on to something for sentimental reasons is going to help you heal, by all means, do what works for you. Because I know it may be people that's like, you know what, I can't keep this because this is going to make me remember this and remember that. And then they get rid of it. That's what works for them. You have to do what works for you. You have to. If you have things that you don't need anymore, give it to charity. It's really time for, it's really time to give. Is there anything else? Oh, wait, thank you. We got the message card here. Very spiritual here with this seven. That's a perspective here. Higher perspective. Take how it resonates. What else? Thank you. We got mature woman here. The last six is significant. This could be a message from a um, older woman here. We got concern though. Thoughts, unexpected income, gift. Lovers and marriage. Wealthy man, despair, male, female. We got the courtship here. The law fourth is significant. That's interesting because I think it was yesterday I picked up the 4th of July. Like somebody having a gathering or something happening on July 4th. Take it how it resonates. Thoughts here. For some of you, this is a mature woman um, thinking how something could have been if they did work with you, if they did uh, like do better here. Main female, despair with the change, high honor, message of concern. April 16th. I just heard you're the one. Wait, thank you. Child here, you're the one. You're the chosen one here. The star is out here twice. The empress is out here twice. The four of wands is out here twice. 
It's like you were chosen then for something and you're chosen now for something. And whatever you had or have, but had as a child, it brought so much happiness. The sun is out here twice. It brought so much happiness and peace to people. Whatever you did, like if you spoke or even if it was just like, it was like you were always like the star of the party here. Oh, wait. Official person. You've earned your stripes. You've earned your badges. All of that. You've earned it. Because like I said, even if you were chosen something, chosen for something when you were a child, whatever the tower is, and the tower out here twice, whatever the tower is that happened when you were a child, it just helped you like be more grateful, be more thankful. Because, you know, that sudden wealth, that gift, that great fortune, if that's what you were born into, like it was already yours, like you could have like grown up like on some shit where you would have turned your nose up at people. And that's not what the most high wanted. Now you just take it how it resonates because the most high knows before we do. So whatever tower you experience, whatever traumatic experience you went through, it just helped you become, um, I just heard, have a heart, have your heart lighter than a feather here. Your heart is lighter than a feather. And it doesn't mean that you have not made mistakes. It doesn't mean that you didn't have bad days. That's not what that means. That means that you were already chosen for something. And you're still chosen for it. And your heart is still as light as a feather. Just like it was when you were a child. So the tower out here twice. The empress out here twice. The sun out here twice. The four of wands out here twice. And the star out here twice. And the judgment. Okay. It's like what changed Like your age <laughs> Your perspective That's a lot That's a lot And like I said It's just giving people the perspective Or you know the outlook To where it's like damn We can get further if we work together but again, you're not going to be exempt from this Eight of Pentacles. People just have to understand. Oh, well, I'm trying to work it. They're not genuine with it. You don't put in no effort. And then you in this energy, trying to figure out why. Well, So, guys, that is the end of the message. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.